Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, since we had the announcement of the new season and the inkling of the Graveborn ghost ship type vibe of it, I wanted to go through some characters in AFK Arena that I think could have a strong possibility of coming to the game uh, in this new season. I'll go through quickly each character and the lore to why I think they might be in this season. And then I want to go through them and talk about the core things in their kits. Uh, and why, how I think they could work in the game, because there's some of these I am actually very excited about. Now, as I've said, it's a Graveborn looking season. Uh, we've got the ghost ship involved. Now, the first character that I think would go great here, uh, if it's his ship especially, would be Hodgkin. He's like the most notorious uh, pirate captain in the lore of AFK Arena. And the dude is basically an absolute savage who chases down any ship uh, and basically kills their captain, hangs their head, and then chooses the best uh, best crewmates from that ship to add to his crew and then makes them execute the others. It, like, the dude's an absolute savage. <laughs> like absolute savage um and so i think he would be fitting if we are doing you know the open seas type thing uh right there now the thing that's going to lead into a couple of the other characters is the fact that he sails into rustport and he goes to rustport to get himself a new crew to set sail for somewhere else which i'll talk about in a minute so hodgkin is one once again i'll talk about him and his skills in a sec um but when in a rustport there are two very prominent characters in rustport Port in the law, and there could be more, but I've only done a bit of reading. So the first one is Nara. So Nara, along with Sonia over here, if I can get to her up here. So Nara, along with Sonia, these two were sort of like, um, you know, grew up in the slums. They were the orphans and they sort of rose to power together by thieving and becoming like a sort of gang. Now, eventually Nara does leave and Sonya gets, uh, she used to be like the nice little girl and then she gets absolutely savage after Nara leaves. Nara used to be the tough one. But basically these two, uh, while Nara was around, basically ran Rustport on the dark side of it. Now, on top of that, they also like managed uh, a, a lot of goods in and out of the port oh and so that is why i do think that they could have that connection with the ship if it does end up being to do with rustport because they would be there and they would be like running the sort of underworld of rustport which would be very interesting so that is sonya and nara once again i'll talk about skills in a second and there is one other character that i want to mention that ties into uh the kind of law side of things that i think could fit in and that would be desire now desire has got a really dark story uh she basically was in uh, i think she was in Rustport um and she had a best friend and then she met this dude and she thought the dude really liked her and then her best friend one night came to her and said I'm pregnant and she's like who's the dad and it was the dude so then they went psycho at each other her best friend ended up axing her down uh and then they dumped her in the water and then she got uh, some voices like helped her and basically she became what she is on screen uh and then she just hangs in this i can't remember what the area is called uh but then she the dude came sailing through and she got her revenge essentially but the place where she resides, I can't remember the name of it, um, is where Hodgkin is getting a new crew to set sail to, to steal something from there. So those four characters, I think, have a really strong possibility of tying into the lore of basically based on the idea of this ghost ship that we do have. Now, there are a few other characters. I'll leave a link to the video that I talk about them in. That was based off the JP promotion where we had some different legs. Um, there was Cecilia. And also, uh, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Lucilla. They had their legs on a promotion for JP. I can't pick, like, pin them into this story yet. So that that could be just a nothing burger, and they were just trying to find some cool legs out of AFK Arena to promote AFK Journey. Who knows what they do over there? But that is what we're looking at. So now I want to jump back into these characters, talk about uh, the core parts of their skill set and what they kind of have. So Hodgkin, I think Hodgkin would be an amazing one to add into the game. The two, uh, the two like identifying things, well, he's got three. He's got the cannons on his hands, which are really, really cool. So you can use some of them for some control damage, stuff like that. He is a tank in AFK Arena, but we know they're happy to swap roles. Um, but the big thing is he has this flag and he puts down this Jolly Roger and then he 
he can um, he, he buffs his allies. I think this would be a really cool implementation of putting down a flag with maybe a good chunk of HP, kind of like a hero, and so that flag could have a massive amount of buffing capabilities, and then like it's like okay you need to focus that down and it's like okay do you try to position him so he can summon it to a different position maybe it doesn't buff as much but it's out of damage way i feel like summonable objects could be that that are beneficial to your team could be a really interesting way to play on them uh, and then he also has his ultimate where he summons a ghost ship uh that basically does whole field damage uh, and fears enemies I think that would be a really cool one as well if they could summon this ghost ship uh, and then maybe like I'm, I'm extending on it. Maybe the ghost ship summons some ghost warriors that come out or something like that. I think that would be absolutely sick, but I just think this guy in general could be really cool. I like the idea of having um, the Jolly Roger, the flag that gets planted and, you know, it, it, it can stay alive or it can be destroyed. So you've got to protect it so that you get the good buffs from it. We'll have to wait and see, but I do think he could be a really nice one to implement. The next one we're going on to is Desira uh, because she is right next to him. So I want to talk about that. So she is a healer and she is basically a consistent healer that also has fearing capabilities. So she is a very interesting one. Um, she has this mist that slowly goes over the field. Uh, and as allies are affected enough, they will, I mean, en enemies are affected, they will get uh, feared. So she has like the healing mist and stuff like that. Uh, I do think that would be quite cool. Like some sort of like uh, field effects or weather effects almost uh, to be implemented into AFK journey. Cause it is something we do have in AFK arena. Uh, even though hers isn't technically a weather effect. I do like that whole idea of changing the battlefield field aura um so i think she could be a really nice one as like a, su a, a support who is like a control slash healing support i think that would be really cool moving on from that let's go into the next graveborn that i was looking at over here nara is one of the ogs of the game She's been in it just about forever. Now, I think Nara could be a fantastic unit in the game. We have um, a bunch of lunges now. We have Rainier who can swap an ally's position with an enemy, but Nara's whole shtick is that at the start of battle in AFK Arena, she grabs the enemy opposite her position and drags them in front of her. This is something we're just due to get. And I think it would be really good utility in AFK Journey for sniping enemy back rows without having to deliver one of yours to them. I think this would be fantastic. Uh, so that grapple, I, I think that would just be an amazing thing. And then on top of that, um, she has an execute, which it, like ex basically can go through Brutus's immunity and stuff like that, which we already know with Odie's, but she does have an execute on her ultimate. Now, the problem with executes on ultimates is nothing is going to do better than Scarlet's uh, punting things off the battlefield. And obviously we already have Odie with this effect as well. Uh, but I do think the execute uh, tied in, like an execute tied into the fact that she has the grappling hook to drag an enemy over would be quite fantastic um and on top of that like in, in afk arena when you when you upgrade her further she does have an effect that when she actually kills an enemy with that uh, execute it fears all the other enemies around uh so i th do think she could have some use but just that general utility of being to able to drag an enemy towards you without having to gift the enemy team one of your allies uh like rainier does i think it would be really cool uh uh, option in there and she would be like having Rainier but having a damage dealer instead of a supportive type character so I do think she would be a great one uh, for the state of the game really mix things up a great arena offense unit um, and also tech unit in certain situations so have to wait and see there uh, and then the last one that I mentioned was Sonya now Sonya is a really cool character I do like Sonya I always call her Sonya Sipper but the whole gist with Sonya is that uh, she basically shields herself and has reflective damage. She also has all these different abilities with roses, but in general, she is a kind of damage dealing tank based on taking damage. So I really do like her kind of play style. She can, she can actually like in early game on AFK Arena, she can actually do tons of damage. She's not very meta in the late game, but once again, I do like that, uh, that idea of having a character that is a tank where you can deal more damage depending on our enemies take uh dealing damage to you um and she can also protect allies with those shields as well and to help reflect that damage so i think she would be another really cool one i, I always loved uh druids with thorns in world of warcraft so anything with that type of effect i think is quite cool so those are the heroes that i i think most likely from afk arena could get a shot in the new season just based on a little bit of lore if you are an afk arena lore person i'm not much of one i just 
just read through some stories of characters like I, I, I saw Ship and I read Hodgkin and I thought C's and then I thought uh, what's her face and then someone said Nara was in that place with Sonya so I was like okay let's just let's just keep going here so that's that's a little rabbit hole of AFK Arena lore I went down and some characters I think could possibly come in the new season obviously we'll have to wait and see nothing confirmed but that is what we're looking at and as always guys thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one cheers